Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 32, Homework. Number 1, Jonas played the Fibonacci sequence he learned in class. Complete the table he started. So he started the sequence, and it wants us to list the first 20 numbers of the sequence. So the seventh number, remember we're adding the two consecutive numbers to get the next number. So we have to do 5 plus 8, this would be 13. 8 plus 13 is 21. 13 plus 21 is 34. 21 plus 34 is 55. 11, the 11th number would be 34 plus 55, which is 89. And now I'm going to not be able to do these in my head as well. So let's do 55 plus 89. One hundred forty-four plus eighty-nine. We get two hundred thirty-three. We're just gonna keep going until we get to the twentieth number. Three hundred seventy-seven. Six hundred ten. Nine hundred eighty seven, one thousand five hundred ninety seven, two thousand five hundred eighty four. Four thousand one hundred eighty-one. Then the last one. We need to add two thousand five hundred eighty-four. Six thousand six hundred sixty-five. Okay. Number two. As he looked at the numbers, Jonas realized he could play with them. He took two consecutive numbers in the pattern and multiplied them by themselves and then added them together. He found they made another number in the pattern. For example, 3 times 3 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 13, another number in the pattern. Jonas said this was true for any two consecutive Fibonacci numbers. Was Jonas correct? Show your reasoning by giving at least two examples of why he was or was not correct. So let's take the first few numbers. We have 1, 1, 2, three, five, eight. And they already did three times three and two times two. So let's do three and five and see if that works. So we're multiplying this number by itself. So three times three, we get nine. And then we're multiplying that by itself and we get 25. And it's saying if we add these two numbers, nine plus 25, we'll get another number in the sequence. So 9 plus 25 is 34, and there is a 34 in the sequence. So let's see if it works for 5 and 8. So let's try 5 and 8. So 5 times 5 is 25. 8 times 8 is 64. If we add 25 plus 64, we're going to get... 89. Now, 89 is also another number in the pattern. So Jonas was correct, or is correct. Number three, Fibonacci numbers can be found in many places in nature. For example, the number of petals in a daisy, the number of spirals in a pine cone or pineapple, and even the way branches grow on a tree. Find an example of something natural where you can see a Fibonacci number in action and sketch it here. So my favorite example is, kind of goes back to what we did in the last lesson where we had something 
that was like a spiral. And that is like a seashell. And if you look at, I pulled up a picture of a seashell here and how it looks like um, the spiral that we did yesterday. And you can see the different ratios and how the Fibonacci sequence and the spiral looks in the seashell. seashell. So maybe you can draw a better seashell than I can. Um, art was definitely not my strong suit, but there's one good example for you.